Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksome. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for future content. Going through Twitter this evening, I come across Go Shell Zen, and another post has come out regarding the Kick Vic people. So this is the tweet that Go Shell put out. Funimation voice actor Sarah Wyden is a Wydenheft or Wiedenheft, whichever one, withdraws from Kamakan and shows support for Kick Vic. Ironically, her brother is currently accused by the police for possession of child pornography. She says he's innocent and she has even started a GoFundMe page. Innocent until proven guilty when it's my brother, she said. So, with the actual uh, photos of, well, of what's actually here, these screenshots... What you will see right now, I'm just going to put them up on the uh, page on the screen. We have the first one. Due to unforeseen circumstances, I regret to announce that I have withdrawn my appearance at Comic Con. I apologise to any attendees this may affect. Please look forward to future events. And it just keeps going on. Literally, if you ask me to prove that an ex of mine 10 plus years ago consistently broke my trust by telling me to close my eyes so he can show me a magic trick which ended up being code for put my dick in your hand. I couldn't. So I guess even this event didn't happen. Again, this was 10 plus years ago, so with that one there, if she had a problem, she should have told him then. Obviously, she never. She probably just guzzled on it. And then the next one here, for those who weren't or were there for the ride with my brother situation, there are posts missing because I deleted them. I didn't want them clogging up my wall. We were able to successfully get him a lawyer. We're now waiting for his court date to be set. Thank you. Well, with that there, there are posts missing because I deleted them because she didn't want them clogging up her wall. So her wall, to her, is more important than her brother. So anything that she's put out there saying, oh, no, he's innocent, he's this, he's this, she'd rather she deleted them because her wall was looking clogged up. Nah, nah, love. Doesn't go like that. And this is from the monstersandcritics.com webpage from the 19th of February this year. Miss Kobashi's dragon maid dub voice actor brother faces child porn charges. Sarah, whatever his surname is, Claims Brad is innocent. Family ask for help with GoFundMe. Right. So, the biggest issue with this is now is obviously the police have got charges on him for it. Then the police would have found those images and to do with him. It's it's something you don't say, oh yeah, he's innocent or whatever. It's like, no, the police arrested him. The police have put charges on him. Then the police have found something. But if you want to still think he's innocent or whatever, then yeah, that's fine. Obviously, you know, it is pro- it is innocent until proven guilty. But the police actually have something called evidence, which none of you have on Kick Vic's side. This is what none of you seem to realise. But a lot of you have been so hypocritical, it's mind-blowing. I really don't understand how a lot of you are still, uh, you know, I still like it. It's like, what is going on? But sticking with the uh, the Kick Vic situation, there's been word that I'll and say there's a couple of tweets out. I can't actually find them at the moment, but <laughs> it's actually really funny. A lot of the people on the Kick Vic side are screaming and throwing their toys out of their pram because they want an explanation why they rehired Vic for the convention. But you know, they you know, they think it's okay for them to ask for explanations or evidence or whatever because again, they you know, they think the world revolves around them, which it doesn't. But they want explanations and excuses, and they also want evidence to why Vic has gone back. But when the I stand with Vic side do it, oh no, you can't have any of it. It's just so hypocritical of them. I really just can't fathom what, you know, my mind 
goes into overload when I think of how bad this bloody... <laughs> of how the kick Vic side think. There's literally... How can I say it? There's no nice way to say it about them, is there, really? You know, they are just a bunch of whining little bitches. They all want something that's... Well, that they say that the people on the other side are not allowed. It's it's just crazy, all of it is. I really can't wait for this to go to court and... You will see them all on the kick of it, so I literally just to go, oh, we've lost. That's what I want. I can see that happening. I can see T Beard and Vic's lawyers just basically going nuts on them, and that'll be the end of it. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and we'll see you soon.